Hi, my name is Todd Wiedekamp, Precision Farming Specialist with Berkey's Farm Stores. And on this segment, I'm gonna talk about how to properly maintain your True Count air clutch system uh, post planting season. Okay, prior to shooting the video, we already did do this step that I'm getting ready to talk about, which is making sure that all the moisture is drained out of your air tank. So what you do is you, you pressurize the whole system and then you just go under here to the pet cock and open that up. I'm just gonna bleed a little bit out because I need the rest of the air for the, the next couple steps. But you're gonna go ahead and open this up, drain out any water that might be inside the tank. And we'll go ahead and close this up. What we had already done also is we went to each row unit and we took the air line out of the clutch assembly and we energized all the, the row units and that blew all the moisture that might be in the air lines, all 16 lines, it blew all that out. So we made sure to cycle those several times and monitor that to make sure there wasn't any moisture coming out. Once we verified everything was dry, then we're okay to go ahead and put the airline back in and service the clutch uh, remaining way. So the next part that we're gonna do is actually come back to the row unit and we're gonna go ahead and service the air clutch. Now prior to this, I had to order the uh, oil that goes inside the cylinder and the silicone lubricant that we actually spray into the clutch assembly. And the part numbers for the oil is 68357 and the part number for the all-purpose silicon lubricant is 68357. These are approved by Trimble and uh, the official name for this stuff is Bimba Lube. Now whenever you get a true count air clutch system, whether it be factory installed such as this or aftermarket installed, the, uh, the Bimba Lube product comes with your, your kit. So now we've moved around to the back of the planter and we're gonna go ahead and service our True Count air clutch. So you might notice on here, there is a aftermarket cover. If I remember right, they're about 15 bucks a piece. You can pick them up at your Trimble dealer, Trimble reseller, uh, but this whole planter is equipped with the covers and basically they're just gonna protect the seal around here a little bit, the base of the, of the uh, pneumatic piston. So really the most time consuming part of maintaining this specific planter is just getting and wrestling this up. This one isn't too bad because we've been back here once already. Um, but all we're gonna do is rotate this dust cover uh, and protective boot around a little bit. And then we're gonna release the air line so I can uh, get the oil inside the piston. So the biggest, First step we got to do here is just take the Phillips head screw out. And you, what you want to do is give it about a two second blast, they say, with your all purpose silicon lubricant. That's good. Go ahead and Put our screw back in, make sure nothing gets in there. Magnetic tip screwdriver really helps, especially in this situation when you got pneumatic uh, down pressure bags. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room, a whole lot of room in here to, to get in. So just get your screw tight, no reason to uh, really put a lot of heft on it. Just get it, get it good and snug. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Bimba Lube and uh, give it one drop. Don't want to put too much in, but give it the one drop that the instructions call for. Set that aside. Rotate that back up. I'm going to put my air line, all it is is just shove that in the top there. Give it a couple tugs. Everything's seated. And we'll rotate our protective boot around. Again, this probably takes longer to do uh, than actually maintaining the clutch. Shove that on and it's fully seated. The last step that you would do is go into the cab and you're going to cycle the pneumatic piston in here to make sure the bimba lube uh, coats the cylinder walls. Uh, and also, like on this planner specifically, you would go into the Pro 700 and hit the prime button and rotate the drive shaft to make sure that whatever we've just sprayed in here uh, coats the internal parts a little bit better. You can also use, 
Um, the other recommended spray is liquid wrench, um, all-purpose silicon lubricant. Uh, you don't want to use WD-40 and, and pieces and, and part, uh, products like that inside your clutch if possible.